Hey everyone, my name is Olav, and today I will teach you how to make this exact render using the scatter add-on in Blender. And the scatter add-on produces photorealistic grass, leaves, flowers, and so on. Okay, so let's start off by installing the add-on, and you can find the add-on in the link in the description. So let's select the scatter add-on, install, and then we need to enable it. So let's uh, enable it like this and then let's go back to the 3d view and then press n to see the settings and there you can see the scatter add-on and then let's select a target where we want the grass and flowers to be generated and in the biomes manager we can add the grass flowers leaves weeds and so on so let's start off with an all-in-one package so select the one with the uh, both uh, red and white flowers as well as the grass and as you can see above there are many different types of grass in this add-on so uh, once we have selected one of the uh, packages we can go back to the 3d view and then let's enable viewport display for these uh, particles and as you can see right now we only have boxes but before we add the actual grass and flowers we're going to scatter the uh, grass so that it covers the whole uh, plane. So let's select uh, this one, for example, and then click on the arrow icon to scatter. And then we can do the same for the uh, second group of uh, grass. Let's select a uh, new type of uh, scattering. This one, for example, and then scatter once again. And as you can see, the grass now covers the whole plane. Okay, so now the next step of the tutorial is to toggle the proxies so that we can see the flowers and the grass in the viewport. So uh, let's start off by uh, going into the camera. So number zero to look through the camera. And if you select all of the different uh, particle systems, you can see that we can't toggle the proxies. So uh, let's go into rendered view. And then we need to toggle the proxies for each type individually. So let's start off with the paper white and then toggle proxies. And then let's select the uh, red flowers. So deselect the paper white and select the red flowers and then toggle proxies. And then do the same for the grass as well as the grass small. And as you can see, we have both the grass and the red and white flowers. Okay, so let's wait a few seconds and see what it looks like. And I think it looks great. So let's go back to solid view and start editing the particles for the flowers and the grass. So uh, let's start off by selecting the red flowers. And then under parameters, we can uh, change the number of uh, displayed flowers in the viewport compared to the uh, final render. And then we can also go into the particle settings and change the number of flowers in the render. So I'm going to decrease the number. So let's set it to around 300. And then we can also select the uh, white flowers and when we take a close look at the white flowers in the viewport, you can see that they are much smaller. So uh, I'm going to have more of them because they're smaller. And then we can also uh, edit the size of these flowers. I'm going to edit both of them at the same time. So we'll hold in shift and select both of them and then press S to scale them down. If you want to, you can also scale them down individually or uh, scale the grass as well. Okay, so this should be enough. Let's take a close look and I think that looks nice. We can also add some randomness to the scale of the flowers. So let's increase random scale. And then we can do the same for the red flowers. So let's deselect the white flowers, select the red flowers and increase the random scale value. I also like to play around with the emission number for uh, both the flowers and the grass. So something like this. 
and you can also change the randomness of the rotation of the flowers but I think that should be at uh, 2 and um, the rotation on the other axis doesn't really change anything for these flowers and then for the grass I think we need to increase the number to make it thicker and then do the same for the grass pattern set it even higher okay now the grass is uh, thick now before we start the actual render we can save the progress so go to file and then save as and then give the file a name and press enter to save and before I start the render I'm just going to increase the number of flowers so let's increase the emission number and then do the same for the paper white flower okay and then we need to update the proxies for each type so let's deselect it and select the red flowers and then update and then deselect select and update and then deselect and select and update and we need to update the proxies in order to see them in the final render. And if you want to see them in the viewport again, you can just click toggle proxies. And I'm going to use the GPU for render, but you can use the CPU as well if you only have a CPU. And I'm going to set the number of samples to uh, 100. And then I'm going to render it. So render and then render image. And I'm obviously speeding up this part. So uh, 500 x speed, and this is what the final result looks like. And I think it looks nice and photorealistic. So I'm going to save the image so that I can use it for the uh, thumbnail. I'm just going to give it a name. We can save it wherever you want on the computer. I'm going to use the uh, PNG file format, and I press enter to save. And then let's go back to the viewport. And I'm going to uh, delete these uh, particle systems and go back to the biomes manager to select uh, some other types of grass, leaves, and uh, so on. Let's go to the biomes manager and let's select this one, for example, and go back to the viewport. And then let's go to rendered view. And I think I need to switch to uh, CP rendering because GP rendering usually messes up the recording of the tutorial. And once we're in rendered view, we can select uh, one of the uh, types and then toggle proxies so that we will be able to see them in uh, rendered view and the viewport in general. So I uh, do the same for all of them. And then I'm going to select another scatter category. So let's go to the top and uh, let's select uh, this one for example and then scatter and then we can increase the emission number so uh, let's uh, multiply it by two and do that a few more times and as you can see by increasing the emission number we cover a larger part of the plane with grass and the display percentage works the same for the grass. And um, let's set it back to 100. And go to uh, render view. And as you can see, the uh, grass now covers most of the plane. And it looks great in rendered view. Okay, so let's go back to solid view and uh, try some different scattering types. So let's try uh, this one, for example. And uh, then let's update the scattering, increase the number. And as you can see, we get this pattern. Now let's just try one more uh, biome before we end the tutorial. So let's uh, add a, a basic grass biome. 
and uh, then toggle the proxies for each of the uh, grass uh, patterns. And as you can see, we get a uh, grass field. Uh, let's just try rendered view. And as you can see, it looks great. You can get this add-on on the Blender market. It's called Scatter, or the scattering tool for Blender 2.8. And as you can see, the reviews are great, and there are a lot of features. And what I like the most is the photorealism of the add-on. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and subscribe.